Fighting in Sudan's war-torn Noba Mountains has led to an increase in the number of Sudanese refugees fleeing lately to South Sudan. In addition to an estimated 1.4 million internally displaced people, South Sudan is also now home to around 250,000 Sudanese. Adam Bales reports from Yida, where more than 80,000 of them have taken refuge. Yida camp in South Sudan's Unity State one of the country's biggest refugee settlements. Everyone here has fled from a single conflict across the border in Sudan's South Kordofan state. UN officials say there has been a rapid rise in numbers arriving because of recent heavy clashes. We have seen almost a 100% increase in the last month when compared to the same period in 2013, 2014, meaning almost uh, 700 to 900 people every week coming to South Sudan. A bloody civil war has raged for more than three years in Sudan's Nuba Mountains, with yearly fighting between Sudan government forces and Sudan's People's Liberation Army North rebels. The spreading ground fighting, intensified bombing by government planes and poor food security forced thousands of families to flee. Nearly 70% of new arrivals are children. This graffiti shows the land they left. The Antonov planes come during the day and at night too. The planes bomb people everywhere. Whether you run or not, they bombard and kill you either way. We had neighbors who were hiding indoors one time when an Antonov came, but their house was bombed and they were killed. People arrive with only what they can carry. Jalila Abraham arrived today. She says it took her one week to walk here from her village with her three children. We came here because they continue to bombard us day and night. That is why we ran away. We move from one place to another because they follow us to wherever we go and bomb us. Many new arrivals will travel to Ajon Thok, a UN camp to the east. But with a capacity for only 25,000 people, it is almost full. While Sudan's government denies it, the Ida camp director, Jacob Osman Kaluka, says the bombing is intentionally driving civilians out of South Kordofan. Their objective is to scare the people and to let them run away from the SPD control area. That one by burning all the crops in their fields, burning the houses and giving them no rest. So at least to evacuate, to to, to empty the Nuba Mountains from the human being so that it can just remain like uh, no man land. Life in Needy Camp is basic, but safe. People have access to fresh water and healthcare with help of humanitarian groups. It is unknown how long the refugees will stay, but after peace talks failed last year, many think they may never return home. Before the war, we used to farm, but after the bombardment started, we could not continue with that. We lost our parents and our children lost their fathers, and life has become so difficult for us. Before the war, we used to live well, but now we don't. Meanwhile, UNHCR says another new camp will soon be established to prepare for a surge of refugees expected from across the border in the coming months. Adam Bales for VOA News, Yida Refugee Camp, Unity State, South Sudan. We want to know what you think about Africa 54 and the stories we cover. Join the conversation on Facebook. The address is Africa 54 and check out our headlines 24-7 on voaafrica.com.